Hi hi sweethearts, welcome back. I'm here with the fourth part of the review series. I'm doing the voiceover for this one, as both videos already had their own commentary, so I didn't want to add mine as well to make it even more confusing. Let's just jump right into it. You mentioned you are using quenching effect as you don't really know the spawns on this map, which is a great skill to choose. It's clever to decide on your persona and trait based on the map and the team combination you will face. It's a great idea to keep someone from decoding while quenching takes effect, but be careful if you choose to do so, then stay with them until quenching is really on, as now you just gave them time to either go back decoding or just disappear from your sight. Wow, it seems like you memorized all four locations for the first try. Great job! <sighs> Most survivors immediately run away as you hit their mirror image, so it's kind of a waste of the time to check back on them. Um, but some cases you can get lucky, I'm not saying uh, you can't, but just be more careful if you feel like you need more time, then maybe just go and get your presence in the first photo over, that should be your main focus. I would recommend you not to immediately check the first mirror you find, as uh, hitting mirrors with the uh, balloon survivor takes up the recovery. You got really lucky with this jump scare you managed and that entomologist who you chaired uh, stayed back here. So you basically have the first person you chair really fast, considerably. But generally the point of using quenching effect is to ensure that you will get full presence in the first camera world. And with doing jump scares like that, it's kind of taking away this possibility. But regardless, you're doing great so far. You have a person down and shared after the first camera world, which is a very lucky and uh, nice early game. Alright, you managed to down her pretty nicely with blink. That was a beautiful blink. Here I would say just chair the entomologist as Priestess. I, I get what you mean and that's why you want to injure her, but the photo word won't be over by the time she saves, if she will be the one to save and you will just give them time to heal up entomologist so she won't be on her second chair. And what you played back, it could have been a pretty nice prediction. Um, sadly, she managed to get away, but uh, yeah, it could have been a cool move. I would say next time maybe focus more on the shared survivor to um, put them on the second or third chair as soon as possible as right now you wasted blink on her and she managed to get away and now you have to get someone down from scratch and we all know Jeff is not a chase hunter so it's not the easiest thing to do I see now you're going after entomologist once again uh, so thankfully you managed to get her down with the pilot hit trick, but it can be hard to catch her, especially if she keeps using her um, bugs, because uh, it has a really short cooldown, she can leave it in narrow places, and it's really hard to catch her, essentially. So you got really lucky with downing her, but next time if you manage to down her, just put her in chair as soon as possible. Good job on figuring out who the rescuer will be, this can be really useful in some cases, especially if you know where the certain survivor is coming from. I would not recommend going after the rescuer uh, unless you have the chaired person still on chair in photo world. As you can see, Ento managed to get away again with her bugs, 
I'm not sure about the ranks in this uh, match, but uh, Mammoth and higher ranked entomologists are usually hard to catch in general, as they know not to. Like, for example, there, she used her bugs just like nowhere, uh, and she should have used it at the door. And here, sh uh, a better or like higher ranked uh, player would have went to the Priestess portal as they knew you had blink not teleport so that would mean they could get away that's why just pay a bit more attention in prioritizing who to chase when to hit and who to go after other than that you're doing pretty well um only two cyphers are left but one person is eliminated and another one is injured This is a really smart move, checking with the jump card if a uh, prisoner is decoding there or not. Uh, this way you manage to get some extra seconds, which can be really crucial in late game. Beautiful jump scare, you did really well here. Uh, when they want to finish the last few ciphers, survivors tend to be a bit less careful as they just want the match to be over immediately. But right now I would just camp as there was tinnitus somewhere. Yeah, as you are doing right now. Just make sure to walk around and check around. Don't let them get a free save, especially now when it's only two ciphers left and two people are healthy fully. Okay, didn't have die. That's really lucky. And you managed to down twist this pretty fast after the rescue as well. Alright, nice. You managed to injure everyone before you even chair the priestess, which will make it harder to rescue if they can even rescue. <laughs> Alright, you managed to stop the rescue, which was really nice. is basically a nice win. <laughs> oh, actually, right before you went to camera world, you could see um, Tinnitus pop up, meaning Prisoner was probably gonna save Priestess. Um, so maybe you should have stayed and camped there. Of course you will manage to get a win at this point, as they can't really do anything to stop you from that. But maybe if you wanted to down prisoner, you could have the chance right there. Like see, now he managed to save. Of course now you can share his mirror and possibly Priestess's mirror as well. And then you will have them both down which is um, a useful strategy for uh, cases when there are only two people left. Alright, so overall I would say you have a pretty good game sense. The only thing I would recommend you to do is uh, learn to prioritize a bit better, as sometimes you have to stick to a survivor and down them until they are eliminated. So try not to like vendor off too much, try to hit someone else or uh, do something that's not related to your priority. That's the only thing I would think you could work on to improve. But other than that, you did pretty well. Uh, your blinks were on point. Even though it's a larger map, you had some uh, good map presence. And you managed to control the map quite decently.
Alright, thank you for sending in your gameplay and good luck in the future. Alright, second match for today. We have our lovely ambassador in Moonlit River Park and we are taking a picture as soon as we can. Oh, it's true by the way, it's a decent map for Joseph as you can see quite far away and you can tell where survivors are, which will make it easier for you to find them or find mirrors or find out where they went down, for example. Oh, I see you know the things pretty well, you managed to down for Fuma right away. And as I said before, most survivors tend to run away after you hit their mirrors, so maybe it would uh, be more beneficial to not waste this time to check in real world. Also, this is a really nice strategy that you um, focus on the sound and manage to find the priestess portal and download the Fuma there. And you even managed to get full presence, which is actually a, an amazing move, I think. Uh, and you even down her, you see where they are, and you have teleport, so you can just teleport there and share her. This was a beautiful and lucky early game, I would say, but it also has its disadvantages too, as everyone else is full health still. I understand what you mean here, and you could uh, this way you could perfume her right away. But as you carry Berserker, which is a hunter trait that makes your recovery faster while someone is on chair, this is why it's uh, useful to hit the rescuer at least once before the save if you can. Um, that's the point of the Berserker. Or if you don't prefer to hit them and just let them save and focus on getting down the rescued person, then I would recommend maybe take out some points uh, from Berserker and use it on something else that you maybe prefer using more often. Really smart move to place the perfumer on the journey of Painter's Cypher, this way you pressure her in, into saving early and you can even get a hit. That was really nice. And you managed to hit perfumer as well, so she will be eliminated. you manage to down the painter. It's really rude to just decode next to the hunter. They pretend the hunter doesn't even do anything with them. So it was really nice you managed to down him so fast after he managed to pop the cypher. You already have the second person on chat. Everything is going really well. Alright, it's no problem, at least mercenary is uh, hit already, so he can't save this time. Oh, nice one, brave move, you managed to down him uh, after walking through the bar. You know, uh, this is kind of a risky move, so be a bit more careful, but it can be very rewarding if it works out, as just uh, we could see in this uh, match. <laughs> Wow, Mercenary is pretty brave to come for a save while he's injured. I'm not sure why didn't Priestess come instead. Oh, he managed to save and make you hit the chair. Well, it happens, don't worry about it that much.
At least now Painter doesn't have any paintings left to kite with, so um, after you manage to down him, yeah, like that, that would be beautiful. Uh, he will be eliminated too, and you will only have two people left to eliminate, and uh, with only two ciphers left. <laughs> From now on, basically, you can just hit both of their mirrors, chair them, and it's GG for you. Like you should stay there. Most survivors would leave as soon as they got the smallest heartbeat. Now, sadly, I don't think you will be able to make it to the chair. In this case, I would recommend just going after Fiestus's real body uh, to win some time. Of course, it's already a win for you, as we can see, but either way, it's uh, more beneficial if you know you won't be able to make it to the chair, so just keep following the real body and maybe catch up to them. team really doesn't like throwing down pallet. Maybe they are too afraid to get hit, but they will get hit either way, so... <laughs> yeah, the best way to secure a foreman is by um, sharing both of them during the so they will go down, regardless of where they are or what they're doing. Yeah, it's good to immediately use your jump card so you won't walk uh, pointlessly in one direction when you know they are on the other side, for example. So it's a really clever move to, as soon as Photover Dance, just use the jump card and then you will know where to go. So. Looks like you found three of this. And oh, you actually found both of them. In this situation, I would just go after the mercenary, I wouldn't wait um, to take a picture. But of course you want to go for that 4k uh, regardless of anything, so I understand why you um, did this. But for example you could just chair PS this near here, uh, I'm not sure if there is still a chair here. But if you chair them near dungeon and mercenary is already injured, he will most likely not get dungeon either way. And PS this won't heal when you stand next to her either way, so... Alright, now they were both in sight, I believe, so now you can just share both the mirrors and do what I was talking about before. <laughs> Alright, I'd say you did very well overall. 
Your chasing skills are just amazing considering you play Hunter without uh, a strong chase. Your pilot hits and your pilot tricks were just perfect. I really love how you managed to, I think not even two, but maybe three or four times, you managed to hit the survivor to a pilot. It's a really great skill to have, although maybe be a bit more uh, careful as some players like to just uh, either spam the pilot and you risk a stun or they will just run at you and you won't be able to get the hit. Other than that, you have a wonderful chase, a great game sense and a nice map control and you even managed to secure the foreman which was really satisfying to watch. So all I can say is good job and keep it up. Alright, thank you both for sending your gameplay once again. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!